Hey everyone, trying to get a video done for this month's uh, sponsorship, but first I need to open some mail, so I've got six packages today. I think that should be okay. We'll see. Let's get started. Just from shaking the crap out of these packages, I think these two are um, related to each other. Uh, June 27th to July 11th, June 27th to July 9th, uh, $28.01, $16.37. Oh no. It's a package inside of a package. Yes, okay. So these are what I expected. Now I have to hope that these are what I expected. I think so. Finally. All right. So, uh, some of you have noticed recently my obsession with key switches. Um, I bought 30 of these Cherry MX style key switches. Uh, these are the linear, so they don't go click click. Basically, the noise you're hearing is the switch releasing. Um, I bought the red ones. Uh, Otemu is the brand. Uh, but they're Cherry MX style reds. These are the black versions. So they have actually more, um, uh, they have a little bit more spring force, which is better for what I want. So I bought the uh, red ones as replacements for my wife's keyboard, but then I fell in love with them. And now I have ideas to design a whole bunch of things. And these are the key switches I'm gonna use. Basically, if you want a high reliability key switch uh, with swappability where you can just change the switch when it goes bad, uh, I recommend, you know, keyboard key switches because they're made for millions of repeti uh, repetitions or, you know, clicks. And this is, I believe it's 110 that only cost me, you know, like $18. And then there's these things, which are not that great for keyboards, but they're the keycaps for them. And they're two pieces, though the white and the clear, and they are the actual, you know, cap for them, where you can put a label underneath, where you can laser engrave the the white part, and these literally just push on to the key switch. Bing, like that. So now you've got a full key switch assembly, good for millions of repetitions, and they even have a spot for RGB, which is great. I have ordered some, by the way, uh, and it shines through here. I don't know if it'll shine through the cap because the cap is kind of opaque, but either way, it'll make a glow around it, which is kind of the goal. So I've got multiple projects with these in mind, and I actually have a video that I have to make about how to use these things in your projects because it's not as simple as you think. So yeah, I'm going to go key switch crazy for the next little while. Don't mind me. I'll just be building uh, key switch type projects. I think eventually though, I'd like to build my own custom keyboard. So more of these are gonna be required. Next one up is this one here. Um, June 27th to July 11th, $29 and 70 cents. Um, if you've listened to my recent podcast, um, I don't remember which number it was, but it's the one where school's back in session. Uh, I was actually talking about the project that this is going into. And so I need these so I can design that project. But basically these are uh, heat set inserts that you put into a 3D print. You melt into a 3D print to give yourself uh, threads. So these here are for M6 threads. So they're actually fairly big. So it should tell you the scale of which I'm working at. Um, I'll give you a closer look actually 
And uh, these are M5 threads, so metric uh, five millimeter. So yeah, you just, um, you, you get these things out and you put them on the tip of a soldering iron, for example, and you get them really hot. And if you can see the knurls on there, uh, when you melt it in, the plastic melts around those knurls and it makes it so that it doesn't pull out. So you can just have this in your print and then in comes, this is an M5. So in comes an M5 screw and you screw that in and you can fasten your uh, components together with a nice screw that you can remove. Now the knurls are not perfect so I don't think you could use like Loctite or stuff like that with uh, with these but I, I think it's still a reasonable solution to um, thread things together. So the strength of which will have to be seen uh, might do some independent testing or I might make a video on it. I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, these things are useful to have on hand and I couldn't really design to these specs until I have them in my hands and do a couple uh, test designs. So yeah, heat set it inserts. They're, um, they're quite the rage these days. So I picked them up and we'll see how well they work. And I think you can just, you know, pop them in with a regular uh, soldering tip because most of them have a taper to them, so you could just slide it in. And if not, it has this uh, sort of flat portion here that it'll rest in. We'll see, it's all gonna be a learning experience. Next one up is this one here. I do believe this is just part of restocking stuff. June 27th to July 9th, $6.26. Yeah, this is just restocking. So um, this is 800 of uh, 10 nanofarad capacitors. And the reason why it's 800 is because there was this stupid thing that when you when you order a thousand, like I really wanted to, the shipping price jumped up by like 10 bucks. And if you see, this is not even 10 bucks. So this was actually a seller selling uh, 200 at a time and I ordered four of those to equal 626 shipping included. But if I ordered the fifth, it would go up to like uh, $17 or something like that. Absolutely ridiculous. So I bought 800, should be enough to keep me for now. But uh, these are the capacitors you need uh, if you're gonna work with NeoPixels, which I intend to work on. And there are uh, some new types of NeoPixel-like uh, LEDs, which I think the next package might be, uh, which I intend to play with. And um, these, this here is gonna be nice, uh, especially cause I only have a hundred of these 104s in stock, but I've already used some. So even if I wanna make a board with a hundred, I'll still need more. So might as well refill them in 1000 off quantities. These are 0805. I, I believe that's just, just about right uh, for hand soldering. Uh, and it's small enough that the pads don't get in your way or anything like that. Uh, like you can still have tight design. 0603 is still doable by hand, but I think for most of my viewers, 0805 is the limit. So that's what I'm doing with these. I think these are those RGB LEDs. Um, June 27th, July 11th, $14.28. I mean, the price lines up. Come on. Oh, what is this? Oh God, so they are, but they're absolutely tiny. I thought I ordered a hundred of these. There better be a hundred in here. We're about to find out together how many are in here. Oh yeah, I think there are a hundred. So these things are them. Um, I will put the part number on the bottom here. They apparently work like NeoPixels, but they are a little bit different. They actually light from, or they mount from the bottom of the PCB and they're supposed to shine through the PCB or like through a hole in the PCB. So these are for making, you know, uh, keypads and, and macro pads with those um, Cherry MX style switches for sure. Um, and if you can see there, 
there's the actual LED and it's up from the surface so yeah you just kinda make your board have this kinda hole and then you solder it on and it has these big pads there we go it has these big pads so you can even hand solder them in some cases I'll probably modify the footprint so they are hand solderable and yeah they're just these tiny little LEDs that act like NeoPixels. They have a uh, V in, V out, uh, or sorry, V in, ground, uh, da data in, data out, and they're directional. They have those uh, single pads. They go there. And I think what's neat is that, yeah, you can have them shine on a board, and you can mount them, and you can um, reflow solder them too because of the way they're made. Pretty cool things. They're kind of expensive. Again, it was uh, 14 bucks for a hundred of them so about you know 14 cents each uh, but I think they're gonna be pretty cool and they're made to fit down the little slot in the uh, Utemu or Cherry MX style switches so if you see the Cherry MX style switch there this would sit sort of like on top there and it would shine right through the bottom of this little slit here and in fact there's even you can see this little, little cut out there to give some space for it too. So that's pretty neat. It should work really well. I got the 12 milliamp variant, so it's gonna be quite bright. But what's nice about a NeoPixel is you can also uh, dim it. You can tell it to be less bright overall. So, I mean, here's hoping that this is gonna be a lot of fun to play with because I think my next macro pad will be stacked with features. And the final item today is this. I believe this is more restocking funny business. June 27th to July 9th, $8.07. It is. Oh, this is the first time I get a full sealed package of a component. Look at that. 1,000 off quantities of 1N4007 diodes. This is cool. I've never actually opened a, like an entire package. You usually get these, you know, again in 100 off quantities. But, you know, for 100, it's like almost $2 with shipping. So for 1,000, which I've got now nearly a lifetime supply. Oh my God, they're all over the place. <laughs> but for 1,000, it was $8 as you saw with the shipping. Uh, 1N4007 so now I've got a thousand of these diodes to work through my projects and so yeah I've uh, I was starting to run uh, low on them not anymore now they're all back in stock and this is neat this is like my first big boy time I think the next uh, milestone now is when I buy 0805 resistors in 5,000 quantities, they're gonna come in a full reel. Uh, or if I buy regular like quarter watt resistors in, I think it's 2,500 or 5,000 quantities, they come in a big box too. So that is pretty neat. They just send an entire box of diodes. And so that's it for today's episode. Um, Thank you so much to my Patreon patrons who are very patient with me. Like I said, I am back at school, so it's a little hard to, uh, you know, have my voice still function uh, at the end of the, the workday. So making videos is not as easy. Um, my voice is actually okay this week, so I'm going to try to knock out a bunch of videos um, tomorrow. and Hopefully in the near future, you guys will see an influx of videos. But if you general YouTubery folks want to see them, you're going to have to join Patreon because they are going to build quick on Patreon and then slowly trickle out to the general public. Oh yeah, and also thank you to my one channel member. Thanks for watching.